Hello again. Welcome to introducing the letter X. It is the last letter that we are covering. Lesson 32 will have C and H together. And after that, we have finished all of our initial sounds. So, well done for all your hard work. When we are writing the letter X, when we are writing the letter X, you will find that you have covered all of the different shapes we will be using. And there are only three. We lead in and then do a slope down from the top. And when we have finished our slope down, we can put our pen underneath that top point and we slope up so that when we have finished, we are in line there and there. Let's try another one. Lead in. Slope down, slope up, lead in, slope down and slope up. And that is very similar to writing the letter X for printing. We simply miss out this lead in stroke. Slope down and slope up. Slope down and slope up. Slope down and slope up. And that helps us with our capital letter X. Slope down and slope up. Slope down and slope up. But there are very few words where we would have a capital X at the beginning because that would have a different sound to let us know to write it. And we are going to be concentrating on listening for X. X is the sound we listen for. Usually that is at the end of a word, sometimes the end of a syllable. Let's try on handwriting paper. Lead in. Slope down. And slope up from underneath where you can see the point. And a capital. Slope down from the top pink line. Find the space underneath it and slope up. Now let's have a go at writing on lines that are closer together. Lead in up to the top blue line and slope down. Then slope up. And it's a little bit like crossing a T. That slope up isn't attached. We add it later. And another one. Slope up till we get to the top blue line. Slope down. Now our lead in stroke 
isn't necessarily a straight line when we're coming from another letter. And we'll practice that a bit more later. Let's join these letters together. And you can see that it looks as if we're doing a zigzag pattern. And we add that slope up when we have finished what we're writing. And usually that would be finishing a word. Now our printed letter. Slope down, slope up, slope down and up, down and up. Which gets us ready for the capital. Down and slope up. Slope down and up. Making that cross shape for our letter X. Let's join the letter A and this time, which is a little bit different from other lessons, we are going to write the A first and add the X. A into X and again and again. Very straightforward because we know exactly where we're coming from. The A finishes with an exit stroke on the line and so does the letter E. E into X and again and again. The letter I is similar. It comes from the exit stroke. The letter O is a little bit different because it is a top joiner. Round and we go across before we slope down. Finish the O across and slope down. And the letter U comes from the bottom of the letter and we have our usual lead in stroke. And again. Now let's practice doing things the other way round. X into A. And then we cross the X when we have finished each letter. So, definitely a little bit like crossing a T and dotting the I. But this time we cross the X when we finished what we're writing. Here, we're just writing two letters. But when we are writing words, like the word exit, it would be when you have finished writing that word to go back. Cross the X, dot the I, and then you'd be crossing the T as well. Practice these as much as you like to get the hang of doing them before we start writing our words. When we are doing finger spelling, you can see that our fingers look like the letter X. And if you'd rather do the left-handed actions, they look like the letter X again, but the left hand finger is on top. Now, because this is the last letter, 
Have you ever thought about singing the alphabet song and doing those actions as you go along? I'm just pointing, but if I'm in a class, I like to have fun doing it with everybody there. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Thank you for joining me.